Hey everybody, um, you're with me again today, it's Tanya, and today I wanted to talk about really pretty much losing the judgment that you have for yourself. Being able to feel what you feel without the judgment. Um, I can remember um, last year uh, in November when my mom passed away, I started feeling after maybe four or five months like, wow, I shouldn't be feeling like this. I shouldn't be still not wanting to get out of bed and not wanting to do certain things. And I was really being hard on myself and I was really judging myself for feeling the way that I was feeling. And one of the things I had to really deal with within myself is allowing myself to feel sad. And so many times in our society, we um, have been told to get over it, or uh, we have the microwave generation where everything happens very fast, so even death is something that you're supposed to just, it happens, the next day is over, and life goes on as normal. And what I found is that it actually causes more stress it caused me to have breakdowns when I didn't want to have breakdowns. So I had to start allowing myself to process the pain and not put a time limit on when I'm supposed to cry or a time limit on how I'm supposed to feel. I mean, I lost my mom. So I'm supposed to be emotional about it. I'm supposed to grieve it and I'm not supposed to have any judgment about the emotions that I feel. So if you're going through the same thing and you have lost a job or maybe you've lost a boyfriend or I've been divorced before. I'm married, happily married now, but I know how it feels to go through a divorce and you lose those friends and you lose that family that you were attached to. Allow yourself the time to feel. There's nothing wrong with feeling sad. And yes, we have to keep our chin up. We have to keep things moving. But during your keeping things moving, remember that you are human, that you have emotions, that sadness is a part of life. Sadness is just as a part of life as happiness is, as joy is, um, and you have to be able to feel that. Uh, there's a great movie, if you haven't seen it, it's called Inside Out. And I watched this movie with, with uh, our son, Legend. And I must say that it was so profound, not just for children, but it was profound for adults. Because you have to allow yourself to feel. You have to allow yourself to feel sad. And if you haven't seen the movie, go see the movie. It's an incredible movie. And if you're feeling sad right now, go ahead and feel what you feel. Go ahead and process it. But know that you have 24 hours in your day. And you want to be able to use that 24 hours not feeling sad the whole time. You want to be able to use that 24 hours to feel what you feel and go on with your day. And if you feel the same way the next day, give yourself time to feel that way as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And uh, if there's more, just search around the website, search on uh, YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, I'm so awesome and grateful to be able to talk to you. All right, love walkers, I love you, and welcome to the neighborhood if you're new to watching me. Bye-bye.